it's Catherine at ResinObsession.com and today I want to show you how you can get a shiny glossy finish to your resin castings. Now what I've done is made some resin castings with an inexpensive silicone mold and this is actually a mold that's designed for ice cubes and you can find them at the dollar store. So while they're inexpensive and fun to work with, one of the drawbacks is that castings from these molds generally look really frosty and you can see what I'm talking about here. When you look at it from the side, it's really kind of hard to see the sticker in here. You can't really see the glitter behind it. And so this needs to be finished in some way for it to look shiny and glossy. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to use our resin gloss sealer spray to get that shiny finish. Now, because this is an aerosol product, I'm going to be taking the charms outside and applying um, the sealer spray. And I'm gonna be doing two a little differently. One in a couple of just really light, quick coats, and then the other in a thick coat. And I'll show you why you want to do one over the other when we're done looking at them. So let's head outside. It's been about three hours since I've sprayed my resin charms, so let's take a look at them and see how they turned out. So this is the first resin casting that I did, and this was the casting that was the furthest away from the camera when I applied the gloss sealer spray. So this is the one where I did it in light, short bursts, and you can see that it came out very nice and clear, very even. We can clearly see the fish, we can see the glitter behind the fish, and it looks really good. Now this was the one that was closest to the camera and I applied it kind of like you might apply cooking spray where you just kind of go in this really thick heavy coat and you can see that it, it did give a nice glossy surface to the front but sometimes what happens is the gloss sealer spray will pool in some areas and you'll kind of get some drips and so it'll look cloudy in some places that you don't want it to. And I know it's really tempting when you're using this gloss sealer spray to put it on a really thick coat, but um, sometimes that's what happens, especially in humid areas like here in Florida. Now, just for comparison's sake, I did keep one of the charms um, uncoated just so you can um, take a look and see how they did. So, light short burst, thick heavy coat and then uncoated at all. So if you have any questions about the gloss sealer spray or anything with resin, stop by resinobsession.com. We've got a blog and jewelry making forum and we're happy to help you with your resin casting questions. Otherwise, if you have some specific questions about what I did here today, feel free to leave them in the box below. Happy casting.